everybody, this is Steve, and this is Called Out, and this fellow right here, this dude with the beard, this big beast of a man, uh, got mad because he could not use the women's bathroom. So we're going to watch this video and find out why he's so upset. He said there were single-use bathrooms, but why didn't you use the men's single-use bathroom? I can't understand. So let's watch this video and find out what this dude's deal is, and uh, here we go. Neighbor confront me for using the women's restroom. I lived here for four and a half years. Everyone should know that I'm a trans woman. I've always been known as Kaylee. I've always used she, her pronouns. I've been having some stomach issues because of Trulicity, and I'd use the bathroom real quick, and they're single-use bathrooms, and it's the only place that I feel safe using the woman's bathroom. Well, I got done and got out, and this neighbor was talking to another neighbor and started pointing out the sign. I knew exactly what she was talking about because there's a big old woman sign, and I'm like, is there a problem? She's like, yeah, you're using the woman's restroom. You're a man. And I said, I'm a trans woman. And she's like, no, you're a man. And she kept saying that over and over. And then I, and she kept saying, you're not a she, you're a he. You shouldn't be using it. You, should, you were born a man. And just over and over. And honestly, I just lost it. I just lost it and just started screaming and swearing. I, I just couldn't handle it. I just, my, this is my home. This is my safe place. I should be able to use the restroom. The, the apartment manager knows I'm trans. Everyone knows my name is Kaylee. And then my group of friends, I thought my friends were all starting to yell at me saying I escalated and because she had two kids. I, I didn't even see the kids. They were there and I just lost it. Fight, fight. Or okay. Um, dude, you have a beard. You literally have a freaking beard. You have more of a beard than I do. Okay. There's single use bathrooms. There's the men's and the women's. So why didn't you use the men's single use bathroom? Why did you insist on using the women's? I'm not understanding. And, you know, even your friends were telling you, hey, dude, back the fuck off. Like, what's wrong with you? But let's keep going. Freeze, and I fought. You don't know what it's like to be a trans person. And then, and then my one friend started yelling at me, and neither none of us stood up for them. They blamed me that I was the one that was at fault. When, when none, none of them stood up to me when, when, when this person kept calling me he, she, he, man, like, triggering and awful. Like, I deal with enough on here. Like, my apartment should be a safe place. There's nothing safe for a trans person. There is nothing safe for a trans person. This is the life. And it fucking sucks. And the even when you have your friends don't have your back. And then my one friend and that just starts screaming at me. And I'm like, I start screaming back at her. I'm done. These are fair weather friends. These are not the friends that I need, want, and deserve. And if I can't find it here, I will find it elsewhere. So, I, I don't know. I'm so fucking triggered and feeling so uh, awful. Like, I just want to die. Fucking sucks. Here's what the... Okay, here's the bathroom. This is going to show you. But see, here's a woman's bathroom. There's a man's bathroom over there. So, there's two bathrooms. Men's and women's groups. So, they're single-use bathrooms. So, you can see there's the men's. Here's the woman's. Oh, thank you. I had a neighbor confront. So we're going to play another video for you right now. And uh, hold on to your hats because this explains why, dude, they're mad at you for using that bathroom. So let me pause this. Hold on. Students to use whatever bathroom they wish. You Listen assured us that these policies were perfectly safe, as neither yourself nor law enforcement could provide a single example of any trans student assaulting any girl in any bathroom, in any school, in any state, anywhere and all of that. Couldn't find it, right? But not to worry, since you could locate them, I took the trouble to. See, Loudoun County, Virginia, where last year, under district policy, a trans student was allowed into the women's bathroom where he assaulted a girl. To cover it up, they moved him to another school where he did it again. See, Irvine, California last month, where a trans student entered the women's locker room and flashed the girls there. When they confronted him, he mercilessly beat them. This happened again in Gwinnett County, Georgia. This happened again in Oklahoma City. This happened again in Ohio, where a trans man was allowed to use the locker room where he was arrested for flashing little girls. The judge dropped the charges after he ruled that this man was too fat for them to see anything. He was too fat for them to see his penis. That's fucking funny. Okay, here we go. Last month, in this city, a man using they, them pronouns in a scene straight out of Silence of the Lambs hunted down and killed a female jogger because he, quote, wanted to look just like her. 
Oh. And before you say that these are anecdotal evidence, just know that in a survey Man. of trans inmates in federal prisons, half mm -hmm. were convicted of sexual assault and 90% were convicted of violent crimes, well above the general prison population. Damn! Now, it should also be noted that in each of these cases, each of these perpetrators had either changed their pronouns, had undergone transition, or had received gender-affirming therapy and accommodations thereof. Facts. Why is this important to note? Probably for the same reason we recognize as a society that you do not affirm that people with anorexia can be healthy in any way. You do not affirm that somebody with schizophrenia is hearing voices. And you do not affirm that somebody in a manic episode is having great ideas. Because when you leave somebody to languish in their false mental state, i.e. men who think they are women, they will inevitably lash out and harm themselves and those around them. Hurt people hurt other people but i don't want to pretend and have the hubris to think that i'm going to be the one to change your mind i'm happy to share any and all of these examples with you but you will most likely leave here tonight believing that men can become women affirming care works and that you made the right vote but you will no longer be able to look into the eyes of your constituents and honestly say that you are unaware of the assaults that inevitably take place when we declare to women, you have no right to privacy. Thank you very much. Boy, ain't lying. I'll tell you that. And the one thing that disturbed me about this boy is he's got these tiny little hands. You know how small his hands are? He's got little tiny little baby hands. But he's right. And there's the evidence right there. And they refuse to dispute the evidence. So, there you go. There you have it. Um, comment, like, and subscribe. Tell me what you think. All right, folks. Bye.